I used Unity for a bit, but man, it got rough. Everything started feeling harder than it needed to be. Like, why does moving a cube feel like rocket science? And don't even get me started on debugging. I'd spend more time figuring out why my game code broke than actually making the game. So I decided to give Godot a shot. After just a week, I was able to make stuff without hitting 2,000 errors every five minutes. I could actually prototype ideas and see them work, and even enjoy the process. In this video, I'm going to break down exactly why I switched and what makes Godot different, and where it still has room to grow. The reason I switched is that Godot is completely free and open source. That's right, you don't have to pay for a license, worry about royalties, or stress over hidden fees when you make your dream game. For any developers and solo creators, that's a massive relief. And it gets even better because it's open source. You can see exactly how the engine works. Want to tweak physics, fix a bug that's been driving you crazy, add a feature you need doesn't have, you can do it yourself. You're not stuck waiting for someone else to fix something or dealing with a company support system. Another big reason is GDScript. If you know Python, you're basically halfway there. But if even if you don't know, it's super easy to pick up because the syntax is clean, readable, and made for games. Unlike Python, GDScript is optimized for game development. Moving characters, easy. Handling physics, fast. Controlling your game logics, straightforward. You don't need to do need to wrestle with pointers, memory management, or overly complicated class structures. And the best part, GScript is fully integrated with Godot. That means that you can write code and immediately see how it works and interact with your game objects. Prototyping is smooth, testing is fast, and iterating comes enjoyable instead of a nightmare. The smaller but still important reason is the node system. Nodes let you organize everything in your game cleanly. Characters, items, UI elements without turning your project into a spaghetti mess. Signals handle events like button clicks or character collisions automatically, so you don't have to write endless boilerplate code. This makes building levels and placing collectibles way faster. Honestly, once you get used to the nodes and signals, it's hard to imagine working any other way. It's like discovering cheat codes for your own game. Suddenly, things that felt impossible or, or tedious become simple and fun. Now let's keep it real, Godot is imperfect. If you're making a high-end 3D game, Unity still has better graphics, more advanced 3D tools, and some built-in systems Godot does not fully match yet. There also are some workflow conveniences in Unity, like an asset store, plugins, or animation tools that aren't as mature in Godot. So if you're doing AAA level 3D or need very certain features, Unity still might be the safer choice. But for most indie developers, 2D games, smaller 3D projects, and rapid prototyping, Godot is amazing. It's lightweight, flexible, and it lets you actually enjoy making games again. So that's why I made the switch. Godot is free, open source, easy to code in with a GD script, super organized with nodes and signals, and just, just works. works. Just, just works. works. Just works. works. Sure, it has some limitations with 3D, but for most projects, it's a total lifesaver. If you've ever been struggling with Unity or just curious about Godot, give it a shot. Even spending a week learning it can make a huge difference.